Hey what's up everybody, my name is Trophynet the Babbling Belgian and welcome back to XCOM 2 the Valkyrie playthrough where we only deploy female soldiers or Valkyries. So today we're gonna do another supply raid, last time we did this, this went very badly, but uh, let's hope this goes better. We're, it's our first difficult mission if I recall correctly, Operation Diamond Father. And we're gonna take Kelly Brown as our specialist, Heidi Hagen as one of our strongest units, our ranger, then Elena Dragunova as our reaper, Lena Bauer as our Templar, and Jacqueline Morel, the well, the veteran of the team, Jacqueline Morel, our grenadier. I've made her another nanoscale vest as well, since she had an extra slot which I can't use for the grenade. So, but that's basically it. This is the team we're gonna head out with, and let's hope. We get uh, a whole bunch of supplies because we can use that to make new weapons and the like. So we're going to be moving as fast as possible through this to gather as many supplies as we can. But also of course be careful that we take out anything along the way because we still need to neutralize all enemy targets. So let's try to be rather aggressive. We have plenty of aggressive troops. We have a Ranger and a Templar. So that means that we can move around the battlefield quite effectively. And with Elena as well. We can basically uh, just move around undetected as well. A number of supply crates out of this area, and we have an opportunity here to take a few for ourselves. Locate and mark the crates with transponders, and Firebrand will handle the rest. So the first one is really, really far away, so I don't really know where the other 11 would be, since the first one is already all the way on the other, well, basically in the center of the map on a train, but that's... Basically similar to how um, supplies worked before. Let's move Heidi up first, since she has the biggest batch of mobility. Uh, nothing just yet, so let's just start moving everybody up and I'll get back to you when anything happens. We're two turns further and I think Elena actually spotted something. Okay. What is that? In close coordination to maintain a cohesive form. What the hell was that? The, n that's a new enemy. I, okay, I'm a bit speechless because of that, because I, I didn't think they would be introducing new enemies as well. Okay, but we need to be careful because they're all bunched together. So let's just uh, prepare. We kind of know where those two clusters are. If you can focus on just those two clusters, we should be fine for now, but um, let's, yeah, I'm going to keep Heidi over here. No, let's put it over here Order's confirmed. Moving to have her move to the left of the map a bit and see what we can do afterwards. Uh, Lena can go, Ooh, I need to be careful not to trigger anything, but let's put it over there near the train. She can probably see some things, uh, nothing just yet. So that probably means we have another turn before anything crazy happens. But we need to start preparing an ambush because otherwise uh, they're going to start picking up some things. Ooh, hello. Do they actually spot me? I don't think they do. They just move along. They just move along. Um, let's just mark the first supply crate and there's a, another one over there. Um, hmm... We could also just try and kill everything because they're probably going to move to the back of the train and I'm going to be flanked after that. Let's just get the first supply crate. We'll see what happens. We're still in concealment. There we go. So let's just mark those supplies. And we're revealed. Okay, crap. Okay. No problem. Firebrand is en route to make the pickup. Our resistance contacts had heard rumors Advent might be rolling out a heavy infantry armor system. Looks pretty tough. It's heavy infantry armor system, so that thing probably. So that is... Okay, we have Heidi has a pretty nice shot on the Mac. 76, but she can still do run and gun as well to start firing at more of that. But, 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 but... Elena actually has um i think she has shredding right on her no i have needles so shots taken and shadow have two armor piercing which would actually be nice if i can move her back a bit let's move her back a bit she should have a nice shot at the robot if you can finish it off with that we actually has yeah a 97 shot at the robot with two armor piercing 
But Heidi is in a bit of a pickle first. And I know that if I move to the right, I might actually trigger that secondary batch of enemies. Uh, the purifier might explode, so I don't really have any use for him either. Let's see. If I use the memetic rifle first. Because that's 5 armor piercing, up to 5. With 0% crit. And a 50% chance to reveal her. Let's, let's try it. That's five damage, so that's maximum damage, and she is not revealed. Okay, great. Then Heidi can potentially finish him off, but I'm gonna save her for now, because something else might happen if we use uh Because I'm gonna use Lena, she can get away, uh, to sword rend the mech. So let's rend the mech and see what happens after that. Because she goes up top, giving her more sight. I think she might actually see the other one. The other group. Did she? We get a focus, but I think, yeah. We just got spotted. Okay. What the hell is that? That doesn't look good now, does it? Okay. A swarm of nanobolts. Um, I think I'm gonna do parry. Then parry the next attack made against you during the enemy turn, preventing all damage. Let's do that. Sarah could actually move into... Heidi could actually move into a run and gun position. So let's run and gun. And then put her behind full cover over here. Hmm, that's dangerous. But I'm gonna have to do it. So full cover over there. Let's hope we don't spot anything else. It doesn't seem like it. And then we have an 82% chance to fire at a specter. That's a specter, apparently. But that's a crit, so that's 12 damage. But that's probably just not enough. How much does she have left, too? What's my uh, area of effect with the grenade? Not enough to kill... Mm. I could try this. That kills the, the specter, at least. Yeah, I'm gonna launch the grenade over there. And if that forklift wanna, wants to, to blow up, that would also be nice. I'm gonna actually remove just the forklift. Like this. Je une petite surprise. Une petite surprise. A little surprise for you. There we go. Boom! So that leaves us with... Ooh, loot destroyed, sadly. Again, the one enemy I use explosives on. Doesn't seem like... Okay, that's annoying, but... I think I can give Heidi another action if I want to. What does she... That purifier also needs to die. And that Skelly is our last remaining unit we can use. Let's put Kelly in full cover. So she has a bit of overview. And then the shot is probably now worse. We have a 45% shot at... No, 43? Wait, what the hell? 45 in the shield barrier and 43 on the purifier. But I kill... I could probably kill the purifier with a shot. If I can hit him. While I can't with the shield bear. And the shield bear, I think shield bears do always put down a shield as their first action. So I should probably focus on the purifier first. And that's a miss. Okay. Negative damage. Let's see what happens. I think they're marking... Are they marking things? Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. This is a bad time for the assassin. That's not good. And she can now summon Advent Priest as well. Okay. At the very least, you will die. Oh god. Okay, this is bad. What's up out there? It's the Elder's assassin, and she's moving into the AO. Advent has already marked a couple of crates for extraction. If we move quickly, we may be able to mark them for ourselves and prevent their. So there we go, shields. Shields for everyone, apparently. And then the purifier goes and starts flaming on Jacqueline, but Jacqueline has armor. Ooh, wow. Does that actually hit them? Oh, and that's a flank shot on... And that's buried. Okay. They would try to shake my 
And then another Sectoid shot to Heidi, but Heidi... Oh, no. Mind control resisted. Okay, but she's disoriented instead. Okay. Firebrand is on deck for recovery. Keep marking those crates, Menace One Five. And there goes the forklift. That was dumb from the sectoids. Can, uh, give it a try. So Heidi now has disorientation. So I'm guessing she can't use slash. Yeah, because she's disoriented, and her shots are really bad because of that same problem as well. I think she might not even be able to. Yeah, she can't use teamwork either. But she still has a lot of movement available to her. Um, I can't use run and gun. Let's see what we can do. Um, we can't forget about Lena. Lena might actually be able to do some very nice things. What if I use Volt? Volt can jump to nearby units. But she can't see anything but the sectoids. That sectoid, or the shield bearer, but the shield bearer has a lot of uh, armor, by the way. Oh, Volt is extra damage on the sectoid. Aha. Uh -huh. And what's that last thing? The stun strike. Knock an enemy back. I'm gonna move Elena up. I wanna see what her shots are. Because uh, she's still in concealment as well, and I can still throw a Claymore if I want to. The Claymore does a damage. And I could Possibly take out the shield bearer with that. Remote detonation is useless for now. But I could throw the claymore and keep her in concealment. Just like this. That's actually pretty big, the radius there. But I can't even use it on multiple enemies. So let's just put it over there. Now we wait. And somebody else can trigger that in a minute. Might even be Heidi, because Heidi might actually have a pretty good shot on that. Now, Heidi, can you see that Claymore? What's your shot? You, you can just trigger that. So that's probably going to be your best use of your ability now. We should probably put her in a better position. That's closer to her teammates. Uh, that's running, that's running. And I think I might actually be too far away if I don't do anything else. Um... The assassin did drop down very far away, so I think if I just put Heidi over here, Move into position. that does get rid of a few supplies. I know that's... Oh no, I do sight of the, um, the Claymore, okay. Lena actually has quick draw, so I can use the pistol as my first action without actually spending... Uh, two actions at once, so if I use Lena's pistol shot on the Claymore... Will cause a friend damage to a friendly object. Okay, yeah, fuck. Because I destroyed the supplies. Yeah, it's gonna have to be. Uh, that's gonna have to be it. There we go. Unless they leave us no choice. We should try to avoid damaging the crates if we want to bring home anything useful. And then I can actually rend the advent shield bear, and that's a guaranteed kill. So I should probably do that. Yeah, I'm gonna kill him. One hundred percent. But there we go. Rand damage increased. And I think she should get the possibility to parry. And now we can just parry. So that blocks the next attack on her. Now we have two units I can actually fire at. This is fire. Oh no, I need to run through fire to actually go there. I can actually shoot at the purifier with a 64% shot. Let's try that. That's five. And then I don't have combat protocol on her, I think, on Kelly. But I can guarantee a kill with a grenade. Okay, what else do we have left? Only those two. So I'm gonna have to make sure that Heidi actually kills one of those two sectoids. Um, I probably should take care of the highest... Yeah, the highest health one so that's 50 50 that didn't sound like a hit so that leaves two sectoids and the purifier for now so if i don't hit this that's gonna be bad but i need to yeah i'm gonna probably be able to hit him 100 if i just put it over here 
like that. And then 90% shot. That's not even guaranteed, but there we go. That's right. There we go. So that leaves... Well, that loses us another crate. We destroyed the other one. And that leaves us with two sectoids and the assassin. That should be doable, because I think the assassin will probably focus on... Spawning priests, or... Okay. So that's... Oh, he's gonna move twice. Does he? Yeah, so he reveals Elena there. And the sector will probably fire at Lena, or not. Oh, he resurrects the shield bay. No respite for the dead. The aliens have found a way to mind control them now. And then the assassin. Ooh, dazed. Yeah. So dazed is not that much of a problem. So you've taken one back. Somehow, I doubt it will be the last of your soldiers that I take captive. The Chosen is in position. Time to put it down. This is getting dangerous! Soldier down! Get him back up ASAP! We will, we will. So, Heidi is just dazed, which is not a problem. Um, side Zombie, Sectoid, and another Sectoid. So I can kill those two Sectoids with no problem. What can we do against the assassin? Oh god, can I actually get to... Yelena might actually be the best option to res uh, Heidi. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go over there. I know, but you, you should be able to resurrect her there. You shun the outside world, and yet here you are, caught in the same trap as all the rest. So Heidi is no longer dazed, and she has one more action left. That's pretty good, I would say. I could actually just sword the assassin now. That's maybe maybe a bit too much. I can use Lena to rend the sectoids like this, so that's a hundred percent shot. Slash eleven damage, and I grab loot immediately as well, which is nice. And that is an Illyrium Core, Advanced Expanded Magazine, and an Alien Data Cache. That's really good. And then I think I should probably get her into parry. Although the Assassin will probably go... Yeah, I'm gonna have to put her... I'm gonna use her momentum to move her closer. Like that. So we have one more Sectoid to take care of. But we can easily do that, I think. She can fire at the Sactoid with impunity, so 4 damage should be doable. There we go. And then I think I should probably try... What was that? Oh, that's the energy that uh, Lena can actually pick up. That's interesting. Now, Heidi. I think I should probably try and heal Heidi first. Um, so I'm going to try and get... Kelly closer. Can I get her on top of the roof? Might not be my best idea, but I can actually put her into cover here. So if I can go right. over here and heal. Oh, wait a second. Yeah, because I can't heal her, but I can give her another action. I can heal. Yeah, I do. I, I do get the option to heal Heidi. So let's do that. That's exactly what I wanted to do. Because that way Heidi is actually protected from further attacks. Now I don't want to attack the assassin just yet. Because I feel like there might be more enemies over there. So I'm just going to pull back Heidi in full cover. Headed there now. I should have probably standed on, stood on the, the supplies. but. No and there we get another priest. I actually really like the design of the priests. We never really fought one of those before. And then the assassin runs away again. Harbor wave. The wave is coming. Um, and that is... Oh, wow. So she double-dazed units. Great. 
Okay, that's not that big of a problem. Um, how much do I do with Rend now? 7 to 8. And 6 to 9 with Volt. Or we could amplify the damage. We could do that too. I'm just going to move her... Yeah, close to Yelena. So we can actually res her. Like this. Let's revive Elena. And she's disoriented instead. Okay. Then I think if I want to use Elena properly, she can't go into shadow now. Because the unit is flanked. Okay. So we need to move her back a bit. Uh, so let's move her behind full cover. She can't really fire probably. It's a 54% shot, but she's wide out in the open. So let's just put it over there. Then, uh, Jacqueline. Jacqueline actually has a shot at the priest right now. But she still has the flashbang as well. Let's put Jacqueline in place next to Heidi. To resurrect her. Well, to revive her. Luckily, that didn't do any damage. So Heidi is no longer dazed. And she doesn't suffer, suffer any negative consequences as a result of that either. So, now... Let's move Kelly down. I don't know. That's probably something I can only pick up with the Templar. And can't really do anything with, uh, with Kelly with that. So let's move down. I'm going to move um, Kelly's second action to Heidi. Because that will allow Heidi to actually just move and slash at the... Is this actually a flank shot? It probably isn't, because I probably won't be able to see it anymore. Um, but if I want to slash, that's 5 to 7 damage. Might as well put myself over here. Yeah, so let's slash at the priest. Sword 1. Blade Master 6 damage. And then we can use Lena's rend ability to kill off the priest immediately. There we go. Oh, wait. Sustained. Uh, okay, let's parry then. And put Jacqueline. So the priest survived that. Oh, and she went into stasis automatically. That's, that's, that's a problem. Mind control, okay. And this time we don't get a resist. So Heidi is mind controlled. And then the assassin. I am coming for you, Commander. And then the assassin disappears. Okay. The assassin disappears. Let's use Jacqueline as uh, a way to kill the priest. So that's a flank shot. There we go. Through the window. In the face. And he also leaves psychic energy. Gonna have to be careful now, because of course the assassin is somewhere. Not a problem. Let's go over there. I move up a bit. See you guys in a second when we actually see the assassin again. Huh. Interestingly, Elena is apparently flanked so that means that the assassin is probably somewhere close by um she can't really move far because of the disorient the, because she's disoriented god damn it i can't talk anymore so let's move back just a little bit to see if we can spot her somewhere aha there we go that's it there she is but that's <laughs> not good is it um, we could actually try and give it a few slashes. We could even run and gun. Um, Rend is going to be 7 to 8. We could just completely surround this thing. Kali doesn't actually have a sight because that bit batch of uh, canisters is in the way. But otherwise we have 3 more attacks. So let's do Heidi first. Heidi can go into run and gun. Then put herself over... Is that...? Yeah, technically, technically she would be in cover, right? You know what? I can, I'm just gonna be really, really brazen about this. And just put Heidi right next to the assassin. 
I don't know what the abilities of the assassin are, if she has something else that could really end my day, but 100% shot at the assassin, really close quarters, and that's a critical, so that's 10 and burning, so the dragon rounds from Heidi actually went into effect. I won't be slowed by your feeble attacks. Then rend right next to... You know what, let's put it out in the open, not... Um, in cover at all, because I'm going to parry after this. Although, I can only parry... I can probably only... Wait, wait, wait. I can probably only parry after after attacking with Rend. So that's... Okay, I can just do that. So that's Rend from over here, out in the open, right on top of the Assassin. And Slash! That's another 6 damage. And then we get Momentum and Parry. Then we could... What can we do with... I'm just gonna put... Huh, I could put 8 protocol on any of our other soldiers. Which is probably what I'm gonna do. So let's put 8 protocol on uh, a Heidi. So she gets 30 more defense in case something would happen. And after that we're gonna use Elena's shot which is 86. 10 to 12 damage because of course she's weak to... Um, Reapers. There we go. And that's another hit. 11 damage and she's uh, bewildered. And she's burning. So she's not entirely down, but either she's gonna run now. There we go, and we parried. We parried whatever that was. I will not be dishonored to the cover of darkness. Your soldiers will die today, Commander. But they die with honor. So there we go, disorientation removed, and the Chosen... Is the Chosen gonna do something? Because she just went away, right? So I think this is now our turn, yeah. There we go. So let's start grabbing some of the supplies, but I think I want to see where she went. Because uh, if I can see where she went, we might be able to do something about that. So let's put Jacqueline over there. So there she is. Is anybody close enough to actually do something about that? It will depend on the range of Yelena's firearm. But I think if we put her over here, she should be able to fire. That's 50-50, and it would kill her if she hits. And I can reach with the blade even, so this is done. We're done. We're done. We're just done. Uh, I don't know if who would need... I think Heidi actually might need the uh, promotion. So let's do exactly that. Heidi! You can go blade master the hell out of the assassin there. So at least five damage, which is enough to kill her. We're running. And Heidi goes forward and slashes the assassin in the face. And it's over. It's down. And we get five more ability points because of that. Though it pains and Heidi gets her promotion to captain. Adversary. The elders will not allow me to die in this world. We will meet again. Indeed we Status will. confirmed. Mission accomplished. Excellent work. Excellent work, Commander. We may not have put them down for good, but at the very least, we've held off the Chosen for another day. And I think that's the only way to get rid of them, except if they, of course, extract information, extract knowledge. But there we go. Eight turns for nine enemies, including a Chosen, and only one soldier was wounded, so that is excellent, especially for a supply rate. And we got eight out of ten of those uh, supply boxes. Uh, no, I think we got ten out of twelve, right? Because we only missed two. One was picked up, and one was destroyed. And there we go, back at the Avenger. Five Valkyries with a very nicely done job. Uh, some of them are not easy. Carrying well, weapons. Temporarily. Heidi is out for seven days and Elena is tired, so uh, they definitely uh, took some hits. But uh, we have plenty of other Valkyries that we can use in the coming missions. But three promotions as well. Kelly first. Kelly goes to uh, Lieutenant. So either goes with Field Medic or Scanning Protocol. So definitely going for Field Medic. We got our first use of it today. With the uh, And now we're going to have two extra charges. But we heal five health up until now, which is great. And let's hope to uh, improve that later on. So Field Medic for Kelly. Then Heidi, our first captain. This is great. So Implacable, if you score one or more kills on your turn, you are granted a single bonus move. And that's just probably a move. So that's basically the same as the momentum that the Templars have standard. 
and then Blade Storm free sword attacks on any enemies that enter or attack from melee range. Whew. That's going to be interesting for later missions if we start to encounter chrysalids. Mm. But I think moving out of the way after the sword attack is better than just Blade Storm. So I think I'm going to go for that, Implacable. So here we go, Implacable for our Ranger that is now a Captain, so Heidi. And then our last upgrade, Lena didn't get an upgrade after all those skills, that's interesting. But Jacqueline got one, and also moves up to Lieutenant. Heavy Ordnance, the grenade in your grenade only slot gains a bonus use or a hollow targeting. Any directed cannon shot will mark the target, increasing your squad's aim by 15 against this target. I think, yeah, definitely Heavy Ordnance. That grenade was vital to winning that mission now, because we took, took out that Spectre before it could do anything. It does come with the deficit, the downside that we don't, now don't know what that Spectre can actually do, but there we go. That's three promotions in the bag. We got some loot as well. We got... Ooh, wow. Holy crap. That's... Where the hell did that all come from? So, a PCS for superior agility, so that adds 23 dodge, that's a lot. 187 supplies, 63 alien alloys, 32 lyrium crystals, a superior hair trigger, so that a shop doesn't cost an action, 3 illyrium cores, a repeater, advanced expanded magazine, and an alien data cache, and then a whole lot of corpses, and the spectre corpse. The Spectre's body is actually composed of millions of separate nanobots working together in harmony. It retains its singular form even in death. The nanobots no longer appear to be functioning, but they remain tightly coupled through a surprisingly strong magnetic attraction. That is interesting. So we, fought, we saw, we fought two new enemy types and the priest was technically also new, so we'll probably have a few new things here. The shield bearer. Shield bears are among the most heavily armored of the conventional alien forces. Once we've pulled the suit apart, I'm sure the engineering team will find some means of integrating these improvements into our own armor designs. The Priest, an exhaustive autopsy of the psionic advent unit known as the Priest, will no doubt improve our understanding of how they have come to wield such power and how we can mirror their abilities for our own purposes. And the Spectre, the study of this being will no doubt lead to revelations as to its unnerving ability to conceal itself and move beyond the confines of the humanoid form. And that's it. That was a lot. That We got a lot of that. And now we can build like everything we want. We can build all the new weapons. Well, not all the new weapons, but it's, it's still pretty cool. It's still pretty cool. So now that we have a captain, we actually have uh, the possibility to increase the squad size again, which is exactly what we're going to do. Uh, and otherwise, ranged attacks have f against flanked enemies deal plus one damage, and sword attacks have a bonus 10% chance to critically hit enemies. That is cool, but not required. So I think squad size, definitely. So we can start leveling up other soldiers quicker. Um, but otherwise, we're fine. Let's just check the armory really quickly, because I want to see how our soldiers are doing. Because even though we're doing better on soldiers, there's still a lot of them. How, about, how many do we have? We have 14 at the moment, but the variety is not so high. We have a lot of sharpshooters that are mainly squaddies as well. So I think we should train up Jessica to be another grenadier. Because um, if we do that, we have three Grenadiers again, because we lost Yvonne last time. So let's go back to the Guerrilla Tactics School and train Jessica, I think her name was. Yeah, Jessica Taylor, yes, as a Grenadier. A Grenadier, there we go. So I'm really hesitating what we should focus on. We really have a few very nice Rangers. So the Arc Blade would be nice and it would make... The range is capable of stunning enemies, but I don't think the Arc Blade actually does more damage. I'm not entirely sure. It might just add that stunning capability, and I can't really check more information than it already shows us. And then the Gauss Rifle is a sniper rifle. We're not using our sharpshooters too much, but we do have them. So I think, since we're low on s Grenadiers for now, I'm gonna go with the Gauss Rifle first. Although I might even just save up my supplies, because we don't have that many left yeah i'm gonna wait i'm gonna wait we can make those immediately so i'm just gonna go to the bridge and we can start scanning to uh, see what our next mission is gonna be and we get supplies on a resource cache i do need to remember that we can still we still um scan twice as fast 
I think we have plenty of engineers, so I think I'm just gonna go for the supply cache. Because uh, that's gonna allow us to buy some more things. Which the, you know, the engineer is more indirect than what we get from it. So let's start scanning. And we get a dark event complete. Advent lightning reflexes. Overwatch shots would always miss advent troopers. Okay. That's not that bad. That was the hidden dark event then. So now we have stiletto rounds and advent lightning reflexes. And there we have our supplies. That's 57 supplies. Okay, let's grab that engineer now too. Since we can perfectly do that. But in a day we get the boost to magnetic weapons. Which is also really nice. We had some wounded soldiers requiring treatment after that last covert action. With a few days rest, they'll be ready to get back into it. But there we go, covert action report. We locate the stronghold, reveal the chosen stronghold mission on the geoscape and increase faction influence. We got that, so that's good. Um, Sarah and Emily got X XP and Alessia actually got a promotion from that. And there's extra cohesion between the two as well. Emily got extra will. And yeah, we're gonna have to check that promotion. But Alessia got wounded. Our intel on the chosen is getting more detailed every day. Okay, so we can now this up, Commander, and we might just make you an honorary reaper. So factional influence increased that we have new orders and new covert actions available. Going so well. Good. Sounds like my reapers can take on some new orders. Contact with new regions is made instantly. That is cool. So soldier promotion and new covert action. Let's do that first. So there's actually a really interesting one here with the Reapers, the Proving Ground Construction. A redesigned containment system for the Proving Ground will reduce the overall cost of construction by 50%. That is really, really good. So I think I'm gonna take this one. We need a soldier, a scientist and another soldier if you wanna avoid getting a soldier wounded then the risk is high. So let's see, we can do Will first. Uh, I'm gonna do Emily again, although we need her as a ranger. Let's do Lisbeth for once. And then a scientist, we can choose whoever we send. So let's send Edouard and then another soldier to risk the uh, wounds. We can just send one of our rookies. Uh, let's send uh, Marina there as well. There we go, confirm the action. It only takes four days. And with that, we can go back to the bridge. I could do the promotion for Alessia, but we can do that in a second as well, because we're going to get improved magnetic weapons now. Oh, we got Avatar Project Progress first. One or two blocks. Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar Just one. Project. No if problem. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need to move fast. We can move on the alien facility whenever we want. Uh, our supply drop is actually in two days. But we do get the skull check now. Is ooh. We arrive upon the asylum of those depraved enough to defy the elders. So yeah, the warlock reduces the uh, income by 21 in South Africa. So uh, please shut up. I don't really need you. There we go. Paying a heavy price with the chosen running loose. We should do what we can to take them down before they hit again. It is just as I had hoped, Commander. We do just that, Bradford, but uh, we did get improved magnetic weapons now. We can check what the new... Um, hmm, Illyrium is inspired. Illyrium is interesting. But that's still 26 days. It's one of our longer ones. So I think we're gonna just leave that as it is. 26 days is way too much. But there's actually not much else to do, I think, aside from Psyonix, but Psyonix is also 17 days. I think Mutant Autopsy is probably also very interesting because, of course, we get Plasma Explosives from that. Or Psyonix or Illyrium Crystals. We have plenty of those and it takes 26 days, so that's an entire month that we don't get anything else. But it might fast track a bunch of stuff because this is, it's half the time, I think, if, if it's inspired. So that was over 50 days before. We could try. You know what? Let's do that. I foresee a number of valuable applications stemming from this technology. Because I think we lost one of the scientists because it's technically not available right now. So if that com that guy comes back, it's going to be higher. The skulljack is complete. So now we can hack troopers basically, and uh, yeah, they're going to they're going to die after the hack. So skull mining, as if the skulljack itself wasn't invasive enough. 
Tegan or Tigan, I think it's Tegan, right? Has conceived of a more thorough means of extracting information from advanced soldiers' chips. This new skull mining technique could lead to new intel gains from our enemies and could even grant access to hidden alien facilities for the purpose of sabotage. I can also upgrade our skull jacks to significantly enhance the hacking ability of any soldier carrying one. Um, let's do just that, because now we don't have anything in the proving grounds. So let's head there first for a second. So we got a few Illyrium cores uh, for free. Well, not for free. We got three extra ones. Uh, we could either go with an exosuit, um, which takes four days. But I think if we go with experimental ammo, that's free for now. So I think I'm going to make one. There we go. Tracer rounds. This special light ammo adds plus 10 to the shooter's aim when equipped. That's very good for snipers. Could go with blue screen protocol, because that's really important, or skull jack, and that only takes 50 supplies. Because um, I'm gonna equip the skull jack on our specialists as much as possible. We can go with the exosuit first. That takes an Illyrium core. Then the skull jack. And then the blue screen protocol, because blue screen protocol is gonna become important as well. And that's all our Illyrium cores in one go. But at least we have a, a nice queue going there. And then the training is complete for Jessica, so she is a Grenadier now. And then we get Alien Debris cleared as well. Uh, I could view... The, we get actually 84 supplies for that room. Aha. And I think, because we have quite a few engineers that are now unused, basically. Um... There's one more exposed power coil. And I think we have four engineers, right? Yeah, we do have four engineers. So let's start shielding the power coil down there. We can actually use three, so I think we're going to wait. We could use an engineer to increase the resistance. There's an open spot for it, but apparently I can't use that. Um, and with that done, I think my only other option is to just start exposing this power coil. We have two engineers. So let's excavate. 15 days, that's not actually that long. Oh, but we need one of the engineers. Yeah, I'm gonna take one of the engineers off of this. Yeah, let's take that empty, because I need the engineer to boost the infirmary. Although, am I, are there people wounded still? Yeah, there's still two people wounded, so I need an engineer in the infirmary. And then we're gonna take care of Alessia's promotion, also going up to Lieutenant, so let's promote her. Death from above. Killing an enemy at a lower elevation with your sniper rifle costs only a single action and does not end your turn. That is awesome. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that because I didn't go the pistol route with her. So death from above. And then I could technically put an advanced magazine on her rifle as well, allowing her to fire five times before like actually needing to reload. And with all of that done, we're just going to grab that engineer and after that our supply drop. There we go, that's a supply drop. So one gorilla up, a supply rate. That your recent efforts have proven to be so mediocre. Wait, why are they mediocre? Excuse me? Because the Avatar pro project went that far? I mean, I'm going to take down the facility in the next month, so... We're fine. So one supply rate, a radio relay installed, three rumors investigated, five technologies researched, three covert actions completed, and three proving ground projects completed. So I think we did pretty well. I'm coming for you, Commander. There will be no further delays. Oh, damn. She just went for it. Knowledge level collected. I really need to take her out. So in a few days, we'll probably be able to take her out. Because uh, I'm going to focus on that. So Vigilance, the aliens are on high alert, making it harder for XCOM to catch them unaware. Or Wild Hunt, the Chosen are much more likely to appear in combat. I want to avoid that at all costs. Now, we actually have some more bonuses we can equip on the Reapers. So definitely contact with new regions is made instantly. So let's put that over there. Resource rewards on all missions are increased by 15%. That's actually pretty good. 15% extra supplies from all missions? That is... Really good. And resources, so that's probably alloys and uh, illyrium as well. So let's put that over... Oh, we can't. So I can do one wild card like that, and then covert actions will not be ambushed. They could be ambushed. Uh, I should probably, yeah. 
Yeah, okay, I'm just gonna put then this one underneath the Reapers as well. I'll probably get a third slot pretty soon. Uh, but once I get my influence higher with the Skirmishers and the Templars, that's gonna be fine, so... Pass along your order. There we go, so let's ignore that for now. Grab that Engineer in just two days. There we go, another Engineer for us. And now we can grab our supplies. Our supplies, but let's check out that new Engineer now. Because that extra near can go into the shielded power coil. Bradford is really whiny today, so let's just grab our supply drop. It only takes one day. That is suspicious. Really suspicious. And now we can start making more contact. I think we're going to Europe next. Uh, to start... Okay. ...cities throughout the globe who are willing to share their knowledge of Advent's operations. The aliens are actively pursuing them. It will be up to you to ensure the safety of our operatives, Commander. Good luck. Okay, a communication from the Resistance. Let's view that mission. Operation Goldhammer. We get a scientist and 90 intel. Rescue a VIP from an Advent vehicle. Sounds good. Let's launch that mission. No need to delay, because otherwise he's going to be even angrier than he already is. Oh, look at that. Troops equip the Skulljack for use in the field if we're going to make any progress towards our current objective. Look at this. This is ridiculous. Um, so I'm going to keep our highest level soldiers in here and just add a few lower level ones. So we're going to build the Gauls rifle, as I said before. So let's grab that sniper rifle. There we go. That's really, really good. And we're gonna add a squally sharpshooter. So there we have um, Christina. Meet Christina Castro, our uh, new squally sharpshooter. So she's gonna try to uh, provide Overwatch um, with some uh, very high elevation shots from very far away, so she don't doesn't risk getting hit or anything. Uh, she gets the tracer round, so she gets the extra aim bonus. Uh, and then we have Jacqueline with the double grenades and the flashbang with the extra armor. Lena, definitely. I'm just gonna have to check out the upgrades. And I gave Sarah the Skulljacks, and she has the highest hack uh, stat anyway, so that's gonna come into handy as well. I'm gonna give Sarah the uh, Dodge PCS as well, so she can Skulljack and, uh, well, kind of stay alive after that. And that's basically it. So Kelly, Heidi, and Lena and Jacqueline are still coming on this mission, accompanied by Sarah and our new squaddy Christina Castro from uh, Spain. So uh, that's going to be next time on Operation Goldhammer, where we need to rescue a VIP from an advent vehicle. Should be the Woodwall, but uh, we're going to take a little break before that. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode of XCOM 2, the Valkyrie playthrough. Goodbye.